don't think sequestration can't happen again. That's one of the key takeaways from this year's State of the Commonwealth report. Economists at Old Dominion University released this year's study over the weekend, and 10 on your side investigative reporter Chris Horn has been pouring through it. I guess what makes our economy strong also really makes us vulnerable, Chris. Yeah, for sure, Anita, because we are leveraged so much toward federal spending in general mm -hmm. and then defense spending even more specifically. And next year, there are two key deadlines that are looming. One is on the debt ceiling, the other one on spending caps. And the study says sequestration could repeat itself if the spending plan doesn't emerge on time. The report estimates we have 57,000 federal civilian workers here in Hampton Roads. Their average wage last year was $77,000. That's about $30,000 more than Hampton Roads workers in general. Meanwhile, our region's population is growing, but at a slower rate than the Commonwealth as a whole. Our estimated population is approaching 1.8 million people. That's up 3% since 2010. But the rate is just half of the statewide growth rate of 6%. Other trends? People on the peninsula score very high when it comes to having health insurance. At least 94% of people who live in Pocosin, Williamsburg, and York County have health insurance. 50% of all public school students in Hampton Roads qualify for free or reduced price lunches. And when it comes to tourism, the average vacationers in our area are a married couple who stay about four days and spend about $600 while they're here. ODU says overall taxable sales suggest that economic growth is picking up in Hampton Roads. And when it comes to those huge incentive packages, like the one that brought Amazon to Arlington, the ODU report says money like that would be better spent on infrastructure, rural broadband, and K-12 education. We have the full report for you on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.